Hello everyone and now welcome, welcome to a game between Godfather, Lubber versus Fear and Asernok. Um, well, let's go ahead and change that to that point of view, to get in ally colors. So it is, we are looking at Godfather and Lubber, the duo dead down to the south, going up against Fur and Asernox, undead and, well, orc. Dual undead, an, an a curious choice for um, heroes, but then again, Godfather and Lubber has always been double undead, benefiting there. Um, I, I at first thought there would be like a double death knights, but one of the great pieces of the death knight is, well, once you focus on that death knight, um, you lose a lot of healing for the rest of the army. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, double death knight, that makes a lot of sense. Both sides can death coil each other, and those death knights just won't die. Well, that doesn't seem to be how Godfather and Lubber try and play this. Um, Dreadlord is often one of the first heroes that we see. Is it Godfather or Lubber who goes for Dreadlord first? Um, nope, it's going to be Cryptlord. So it's not going to be. It's going to be Cryptlord and a Death Knight. We'll see if um, we do see a Dreadlord. Dreadlord at level six does get very strong, summoning that Infernal as well. And well, we may see just a lot of hero nuking. All right, Cryptlord, Death Knight. Um, is going to be absolutely, absolutely entertaining to see. Um, I would have liked to see double Lich as well. Double Lich and a Crypt Lord. Could you imagine Frost Nova? The unit slows down. You impale it, and it's stunned. And then you Frost Nova it again. And then after that entire cycle, well, you can rinse and repeat. Uh, is this the best two v two map um, in in terms of? In terms of strategy, I do like synergy. Synergy allows um, allows a base defense to be a little bit more proactive. You know that your partner's um, your partner's buildings at least can help and um, try and base defend since you are already there, and any reinforcements will be joining in on the fight too. So far, we are looking at Torin Chieftain coming in a little bit later. We are looking at Headhunters coming in from the Orc side. So it is going to be, well, um, coming in from Astronox. He's going to be perhaps be going for Ghouls and Beetles as the front line. Meanwhile, the Torin Chieftain and the Orc is going to be bringing in the ranged damage. Here we are already off to the start. Godfather and Lubber coming across here. Death Knight looking to perhaps get in some Death Coil kills across some of these units as the Death Knight is sitting at, well, sitting just lying in wait, ready to get that final shot off. All right, going to go ahead and go after the Acolyte. Acolyte taking quite uh, taking a little bit of damage here. That one Ogre Warrior doesn't understand why no one's attacking him, but is quite okay with it until, well, Godfather comes back over. We could have seen a... I think Lubber was trying to line up the Death Coil Steel as the Torrin Chieftain now makes his way over to the battle. Impale, War Stomp. Well, what, what stops what? Impale or Stomp? Torrin Chieftain getting up... Um, to a higher level, but what's really going to be a, ooh, wow, a massive stomp only at level one death coil for the save on Godfather's Ghoul as the units are already starting to engage here. All right, Crypt Lord, there goes another stomp here, and the headhunters are just dealing so much damage already as we're going to see, well, um, what's going to get surrounded. There goes the Crypt Lord already surrounded at this stage, and a number of death coils saving those ghouls already. Torrin Chieftain now out of mana. Death Knight actually trapped and he's surrounded here by a beetle. Torrent Chieftain now going to try and get in get in position as well. Death Knight going to be in trouble. Are we going to see a scroll of Town Portal or are we just going to see that Death Knight fall? Death Knight falls at level 1. And so two Death Knights fall at level 1 here. Crippler down to 500 some odd hit points. He's trying to break free and will be able to do exactly that. Torrent Chieftain now at level 2. Endurance Aura is going to be the problem as it's going to be able to get in position and then move around very, very easily. There goes another ghoul and another ghoul as well. Constantly just biting the dust as the Crypt Lord while trying to get away. All right, Torrent Chieftain could try and... Well, make its way over. We're looking at the Crypt sword, Fiends joining in on the battle, and the Crypt Lord has joined back in some well units off over here. And the Torrin Chieftain could have perhaps tried to use that Endurance Aura to get in front of that of Crypt Lord of Godfather, as we are looking at just a lot of skirmishes already. Torrin Chieftain, about two and a third already. And meanwhile, all the other heroes are at level one.
as Godfather makes his way back off to the north. Crypt Fiends getting, well, getting spotted out here, taking a little bit of damage. Nothing a death coil will not fix. Astronox off on over here to the top right, trying to clear up some creep camps, perhaps get to level two for that Impale. Impale Stomp going up against Impale, De Impale Death Coil. Um, but we need to see level two on these heroes first. Death Knight bringing in, well, the movement speed and bonus as well. So even though these armies look drastically different, they are um, well, running fairly similarly. As we see Rune Watcher now being dropped right here. Claws of Attack plus nine. Powerful item indeed. We should be looking at perhaps some healing salves on that Torrent Chieftain. Has to be very careful. There are skeletal minions and acolytes well, all across the map. Um, and, and they should be able to scout out of this Torrent Chieftain here. That Torrent Chieftain going to be able to get to level 3 right here. All right, level 2 Stomp. Tome of Knowledge getting picked up. Meanwhile, Death Knight sitting at level 1. Coming back around, a Crypt Lord going to try to get to level 3. Going to be a little bit shy, about 2 and or, or two and 3 quarters as the Torrent Chieftain now leads the charge in. All right, are we going to see any more purges? Skeletal Minion actually getting that final shot off there. And we're looking at the Death Knight trying to head back here. Are we going to see a Stomp? That's going to be the question. It takes a little bit of time. There's a Stomp right there. Going to finish off perhaps one Crypt Fiend. Yes, it does. One Crypt Fiend does, in fact, get taken down and force the opponent to burn a Scroll of Town Portal. A bit of a win right there. Clearing after the Ogre Magi Creep Camp. It could be a little bit of a problem there. Torrin Chieftain actually absorbing quite a bit of damage and the Crypt Lord with an Impale may be able to find this Torrin Chieftain here and Fur is really, really, really playing a dangerous game. Meanwhile, so is Astronox who is clearing out creeps at the opposite end of the map. All right, creeps are falling all across the map. Tome of Intelligence plus two being left behind. Fur has to see this um, as the Torrin Chieftain now makes its way back off to the north. All right, Death Knight sitting at level two. I believe that's Godfather's Death Knight um, at level two, or, or at level one. So we are gonna have two two Death Knights working together to be able to heal each other as we are transitioning into well, Godfather and Lover. Okay, can't tell whose is what. They are just building into each other's base. All right, lots of healing to go around. That Tome of Intelligence is still right to right there. Torrin Chieftain desperately wants mana. Not quite sure why it wouldn't even consider. Where's the Stomp? The Stomp should be coming in already. There is the Impale. And then followed up with the Stomp right there. And that is going to be a very long stun duration. As the Torrin Chieftain, scroll of speed. He could be in a little bit of trouble. Down to 160. Hit points down to 34. Trying to get away. Death Coil clips him from the back. Torin Chieftain falls at level 3. Lubber now trying to back away here. Shadow Hunter is out onto the battlefield. He did not get the healing wave off in time. And that is a major setback there. All right. So um, what was... what? It was not a healing wave. It was a hex. I take it back. Death Knight now trying to retreat back here. A little bit more damage coming back on through. Another Death Coil for the save. Two Death Knights, a Lich, and a, and a Crypt Lord. All we need now are some... Excuse me. Sorry. Didn't mean to hit the mic. All, all we need now are some obsidian statues and we should be looking at well hero nuking for days the undead army gonna be able to hero nuke the shadow hunter pretty repeatedly um machine gun nukes china versus west ak show match coming up by the way 50 50 net ease w3 champions oh that i am interested i'm gonna be well perhaps listening to those games while i work as the Ogre Mauler, Death Knight, and Crypt Lord looking to battle it up. Uh, so continuing to fight their way through. Scroll of the Beast going to get picked up here. And this may, well, tip um, Godfather and Lubber to try and do some sort of push. That Tome of Intelligence plus two is still bothering me here. Fountain of Health over here on the top left. Going to easily get cleared up. That, that Berserk Elemental, uh, very difficult to take out because of its high hit points coupled with well um coupled with the fountain of health armor um, negative armor making quite a drastic difference here we're gonna finish off the last of these c elementals level three and level two coming back around here um well shadow hunter does get up to level two should be looking at level two healing wave tome of agility gonna be up oh, gonna be picked up there as the torrent chieftain now finally resurrected all right 
a quick sleep. Was there a sleep? Um, Dark Troll High Priest? Perhaps getting that sleep right in there. Yep, getting that sleep across Wand of Illusion and now picked up. There is some marketplace strategies to be had. And well, Astronox and Fur still working together here. Meanwhile, this marketplace gonna get cleaned up. There's a Revenant as well, alongside a War Golem difficult creep camps, which should drop powerful items. Death Knight sitting at level two, getting close to three. Rune Watcher and Robe of Magi plus six. Death Knight gonna have mana, uh, a lot or a larger mana capacity, waiting to get to level three. Shadow Hunter, Crypt Fiends, Lich, Crypt Lord, and Death Knight. All working together here. Berserker upgrades already done. Fight underway. Torin Chieftain. Tr transferring items back and forth. As the Bakoto Beast, well, as the Torin Chieftain is actually invisible right now, may be able to get in a, a good stomp somewhere and opponent. All right, uh, landing a critical stomp is going to be key at, at the start of a fight here. And here on Synergy, the expansions are, aren't very plentiful um, at all. Torin Chieftain's invisibility, uh, he's pretty much waiting for his opponent to show up so that he can try and land a stomp here. And, and his opponent just hasn't come to the party yet. All right, coming back through, um, Torrent Chieftain does spot all of this. Is he going to stand amongst all of the units? Yes, does go in for the stun right there. There is a follow-up hex, circular of nobility, death coil onto some of those units. Torrent Chieftain now make its way back over. Torrent Chieftain, there is another stomp as well, trying to finish off all of those units. The Lich gets taken down, Squirrel of Town Portal takes everyone else away. Circlet of nobility being picked up by the Shadow Hunter. All right. Red team, um, red team first ones to, well, get caught and separated from each other. That is going to be a very big deal indeed. Meanwhile, Fur may be able to clear out the top right hand side of the map. We are looking at Gargantuan Sea Turtles and a Dragon Turtle. Dragon Turtles deal a large amount of damage as well and also has a Devour. All right, it looks as though another ghoul gonna get taken out. Units are now making their way together. A troll berserkers with their with their frenzy, with their berserk, with their fast attack speeds, trying to go after all of these units. A rune of healing and um, has been dropped as well, and that should be picked up here in just a second to try and heal up War Song Battle Drums, the worst possible item, as there is already Kodo Beast out here on on the battlefield, giving a damage bonus as well. Godfather looking to set up an expansion here at that nine o'clock spot. Death Knight and Death Knight and Crypt Lord m making their way through. N Nightcrawler is going to get finished up. Crypt Fiend is going to go ahead and get taken down. Obsidian statues will be lost here um, as well. So far, um, we are looking into some strange, strange matchups. We haven't seen a large, a large fight between these two armies as of yet, and we're only 13 minutes into this game. Level 4, level 3, level 2 for, I believe, God Godfather. Hero levels um, across the board. Shadow Hunter is level 2. Torrent Chieftain is level 4. And with a tiny Great Hall, able to place down an expansion and then perhaps try and defend it. However, there's a quick Impale there. Lubber getting separated. That level 4 Crypt Lord, level 2 Impale dealing quite a bit of damage. Death Quell, Frost Nova trying to save more of those units as we're looking at Death Quells just going around the board. All right, Dark Ranger trying to get away. Are we going to see another Impale? And in comes the Red Army on the other side. You know, go in for a flank and well, um, the, where are the reinforcements coming in from? Here come the reinforcements. Fur coming in from the back here. Is he going to land down a stomp as a Lich does get taken down? All right, uh, Teal Lich getting taken down. Squirrel of Town Portal, everyone trying to back away. And it looks like it's Teal's turn to get separated from all of the action. And here, what happened? The army of Fur, it was not with with the Torin Chieftain. Kodo B is going to get taken down. A major Impale um, and Death Knight going to be able to finish off this army so easily as the units are trying to retreat away another kodo beast going to get taken down as another kodo beast falls as well a major misstep for losing control of his army right then and there causing another sudden drop off in overall supply all right 47 supply and and 58 supply going up against 65 supply and 55 supply red having a slight supply advantage Watchtower 
and Burrows. Are they going to be working together? Torrent Chieftain, well, he is spotted. The Shade is right there. There's the Impale. And, well, our, in comes the damage. Death Coil, Frost Nova, Torrent Chieftain, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability being used. And that was a beautiful use of a Shade, keeping track of the Invisible Torrent Chieftain. Fur thinking, I'm going to throw a surprise party, only to, well, only to realize that, well, hey, my opponent can see me. Torrent Chieftain now trying to dive back in across here. Watchtower getting taken down. Torrent Chieftain trying to make its way through. There goes an Impale. Torrent Chieftain throws down a Stomp to follow it up. Torrent Chieftain could be in trouble though. Squirrel of Healing being used trying to back away. Gets Impaled. Healing Wave not. I don't think it's going to be in time as the Torrent Chieftain falls again. Shadow Hunter unable. There's the Roar a little bit late. Should have been used straight out from the bat as Lubber going to lose some units, but Astronaut's going to lose a unit as well. All right, Shadow Hunter getting up to level three. Lich getting taken down. Heroes are dropping like flies. Four heroes getting taken down in the course of 20, uh, 20 seconds, it feels like, as now we see the, a bit of the red army being left behind here. One obsidian statue, one banshee going to get taken down, and that gives level three to the lich. Is this a 2v2? Yes, it is. Godfather, lover versus fur and astronauts. All right, Godfather does have this hidden ninja expansion over here to the top left or to the left side, nine o'clock position. I do not believe. Well, it is going to get scouted out here in just a second. Blight is an obvious indicator that there is an undead building nearby as ziggurats are now getting trained up. Fur still holding on to this expansion here. Lost the watchtower, may want to rebuild it as healing wards. Well, making up, um, well, lightening the load of that obsidian statue. Back off to the north here. Torrent Chieftain was resurrected at the tavern to get back into the game. Torrent Chieftain has a potion of invisibility and a potion of lesser invulnerability as well. Um, well, thereby allowing him to try and do that trick once more. However, the shade may be able to keep track of him and spot him easily. Expansion. This expansion pretty much has not been touched in quite some time. Armies should be trying to engage. Crypt Fiends now making their way back off to the north. Red Army coming together. Godfather and Lubber. Plenty of, of obsidian statues. And this is actually one of the downsides of Dual Undead. It is that the obsidian statues, um, well, they, they cannot heal for each other. Or um, having two obsidian statues, three obsidian statues... Um, it doesn't really bolster or add that much additional overall healing as the Obsidian Statue's Essence of Health. Um, if it's cast by one Obsidian Statue, it cannot be cast by another. Alright, we're looking at the Necropolis. Necropolis is going to get taken down very, very quickly. And well, we are going to be going back to one base play on both sides. Berserkers with that bonus damage, not, not even in that Berserk speed yet as the Haunted Goldmine about to get taken out. Battle still continuing on here. Destroyers looking to back away as the undead army pushing in on the orc side here. Wind Riders are trying to get added into the fight. Anti Magic Shell, Death Knights, and the majority of the heroes do have Anti Magic Shell, which will protect them from those uh, from the damage of the stomp, but not necessarily the stuns. Units are walking, making their way over. Torrent Chieftain going to try and do a little bit of of cheeky play but there is a shade but the shade well there are multiple shades out onto the battlefield that Torrent Chieftain is not going to really be able to surprise the undead army at all Torrent Chieftain scroll of speed looking to try and engage here there's some repairs um, underway scroll of speed being used and now here we are going into this engagement here Torrent Chieftain going to try to line things up there's a quick impale once more as the Torrent Chieftain is already in trouble there's a healing wave there's a stomp how has a potion of lesser invulnerability may be forced to use a potion of lesser invulnerability uses it in time Torrent Chieftain may try to throw down a another stomp here in just a second there it goes as the damage well is going to be a little bit of question healing wave trying to bounce around torrent chieftain potion of lesser vulnerability not up any longer the torrent chieftain is going to fall does not get off the third stomp lich also falls as well as multiple impales coming back across crypt lord down to 79 hit points is going to be able to back away yes it does and gets the heal as well as that crypt or as that that Crypt Lord was so low on hit points with the Death Knight leading the charge here. Shadow Hunter getting taken down. Godfather and, uh, and and Lubber really taking down, focusing down the enemy heroes. But the armies of of the, well of orcs still looking fairly strong here. But without the heroes, there goes another massive impale taking down and the Death Coil a split second late once more. That Lich getting taken down. Well, a, a fear a few pixels away from being brought back to 400 health. Lich now backing up Crypt Lord, Death Knight now trying to retreat again 
And what, what is this? The Banshees with their anti magic cell making quite a difference. Head mass headhunters or berserkers, excuse me, and crypt fiends still pushing through. Supply side 39 compared to 53 at pushing on in. Torin Chieftain, well, not going to get resurrected anytime soon. 57 and 48. Godfather Lubber looking to, well, really hold on to this battle here and continue to put pressure on Fur, taking down these surrounding buildings. Beastie, a little bit of damage here. Head uh, Berserkers, Destroyers, all, well, trying to lie in wait. Torrent Chieftain making their, well, getting resurrected back at the Tavern Death Knight, um, joining back in, and they're going to try to go for one last party here in just a moment. Torrent Chieftain, if he can get to level 5, could make a very big difference as the radius on that stun changes dramatically. Unholy Aura level 2 finally for the Death Knight of Astronox, and then perhaps that will allow them to finally catch up. Scroll of Town Portal of Godfather, however, going to go ahead and back away. Main Gold Mines has about four or five minutes of mining, or yeah, four and a half minutes of mining left. And well, and then after that, unless additional expansions are established, what you see is what you get. Army um, mining underway, 46 over 71 supply. This is 59 over 70. It almost makes sense to unsummon the haunted gold mine here and then to just try and mine without tax for fur. Coming over here to the top right, chain lightning catching the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain could have a very, very bad day here in just a moment, down to 245 hit points. The Lightning Revenant having no way to attack the destroyers as we're looking at a bit of healing coming back across. Rune Bracers. Um, a beautiful item for that Torrent Chieftain, and that what the Torrent Chieftain was looking for to stay alive. 33% spell damage reduction, Death Coil, Frost Nova, in, um, and that Impale, all dealing less damage to that 1,050 hit point Torrent Chieftain, allowing him to stick around a little while longer. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 3. Are we going to see some more healing waves? Yes, we are. There is a quick reveal taking out that shade and what wanting to make sure that no shades are in play anywhere new gold mine of lubber being established and haunted here in just a little bit meanwhile this gold mine 13 what 13,240 um are they gonna try and do long distance mining here that is the next question all right still low on lumber it appears both sides building up their respective armies. Berserkers with 2-0 upgrade. Crypt Fiends with 3-0 upgrades. Going up against 0-0 upgrades for the un undead. And 2-0 upgrades for Lubbers undead. Crypt Lord also... Well, nope. Only Cloak of Shadows invisibility. Obsidian statues working a bit over time. As the Torrent Chieftain getting closer and closer to being maxed out. Astronox, only one obsidian statue. That surprises me. With the army as wide as it is, a second obsidian statue uh, should be in definite order. Meanwhile, a burrowed carry on beetle, making sure that no expansions are established here. Let's go back down to the south. Lubber slowly saturating this haunted gold mine here. Um, gonna take a little bit of time to try and get any of that gold out. Peon now making its way down. And we are going to be going into an engagement. Are we going into invisibility again? Yes, we are. So we are once again trying to use invisibility on the Torn Chieftain. Third time could be the charm. Is there a shade nearby? Yes, there is. There is a shade right there. Crystal Ball could be used to try and spot that shade. But that is always going to be a difficult proposition. All right, Torrent Chieftain trying to line things up. He has to suspect that he is spotted, and he is right now getting impaled already. The damage. There goes the impale. There goes a healing wave. There's a silence under the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain, potion of invulnerability forced to be used, forcing a stomp down. That is a full 15 second invulnerability, though, as the Torrent Chieftain could try and continue to this pressure here. There goes another impale. One scroll of town portal, but the other scroll of town portal was a little bit later. Lubber taking quite a bit of damage as he stuck around in this fight for a bit too long. All right, Death Quail save as Lubber is going to end up losing his expansion once more as the army is going to try and come back across and engage here. Torrent Chieftain looking to try and fight. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability transferred over. He does also have a healing salve, and invisibility did not work as, well, we saw it so easily. All right, trying to try to line up. There is another Death Quail. There's a stomp going down as a healing wave. Torrent Chieftain doing a little bit of a dance back and forth as the damage is not adding up, but there is, well, still a decent amount of 
Well, um, a stun going down here. All right, Torrent Chief and Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. There's a stun. Death Knight falls at level four. Lubber could lose his Death Knight. There's another quick hex as the Death Knight does fall as well. Death Coil, um, well, not able to uh, find it there. So Death Knights are falling and the battle across multiple lines. Crypt Lord falls at level five. And, and this is just a crazy battle. Lich going to get taken down right there. He lands. He goes pop as well. Torrent Chieftain very, very much in trouble. Multiple heroes falling again and again. Torrent Chieftain gets Frost Nova as the Shadow Hunter is still amongst a sea of units. And the Shadow Hunter going to get taken down. All right. I don't believe Teal has any more heroes. Meanwhile, Godfather and Lover still have some heroes out onto the battlefield here. And this does mean, well, an experience frenzy for the heroes of Godfather. Still battling it through. Um, units are trying to back away. Destroyers are still fighting it up. But I think the writing is on the wall. Teal um, only doing long distance mining now. Meanwhile, Lubber has all of his heroes out onto the battlefield. And sticking around Shadow Hunter and Torrent Chieftain both resurrected at the tavern. Are they going to be able to continue this? Abomination. No disease. No, oh, some disease cloud um, being brought back over. Units trying to make their way... Uh, once again, Death Knight could perhaps try to land some Death Quails in Pale onto some of these units as they're trying to retreat back away. Torrent Chieftain does have Rune Bracers and the fight inside of the base here in just a second. Berserker is trying to fight their way through. All right, Torrent Chieftain could be in a little bit of trouble. Potion of Invulnerability, thank you for the subscription as the, the Torrent Chieftain now making its way back down. Our Burrowed Crypt Fiend is about sticking its head in the ground um, in order to, well in order to act as a little bit of scout as godfather and lubber is, are just setting up expansions everywhere and if they just take turn this game into an economic game as fur and astronox are not willing to leave their base to try and fight um this would be a telling sign all right army supplies 45 supply 40 going up against 51 and 54. Lubber still resurrecting some of his heroes as well. Some of um, Lubber did lose some heroes. Godfather, the one not losing that much as we were looking at a Death Quail onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain, however, able to shake off that damage as, well, Rune Bracers coupled with Hero Natural Resistant to spell damage, um, making, it, making it that much better. Torrent Chieftain still sitting on 1,050 hit points. And we've said this in the past. Anytime a Torrent Chieftain can get to level 6, the dynamics of the game changes dramatically. Shadow Hunter, where is the Shadow Hunter? Did the sh I saw the Shadow Hunter earlier. Did it get taken out again? Nope, right there. <clears throat> All right, level, level 4 Shadow Hunter. Level 2 Healing Wave could be going into level 3 here in just a moment. Acolytes making their way through, and we are looking at Lubber mining up at this gold mine here. Lubber should be able to start mining at the 3 o'clock position as well. Death Knight. Well, Godfather and Lubber just making sure that they are not, um, not exposing themselves far too much. And there is this expansion over here by... Or Godfather could try and take an expansion over here. He is not haunting a gold mine. He could request gold from his partner pretty easily and then start mining. Not quite sure why he isn't doing so. As we're looking at... Well, a couple of peons going to get taken down pretty easily here. One more peon backing out. And it looks as though... Well, the beetle is going to go ahead and pop back up and try and get in some of that damage. One, one ghoul makes its way over. Godfather's acolyte actually backs himself into a corner... Is that still on Blight? Apparently it is, even though it's in the water. There's still technically Blight right there. Tomb of Relics. All right, looking for this follow-up fight. What is going on? No one really fighting each other as of yet. Acolyte trying to take down a ghoul. Ghoul is definitely going to easily win this battle once more as the ghoul now looking to back away again. There are burrowed or shades all across inside the map here. And Godfather and Lover are like, you know what? You need to come out sometime. I'm just going to siege you if you're going to let me do exactly this. I'm going to mine gold, build up a larger army, and eventually choke you out. And that seems to be the, seems to be the play, waiting for his opponent and knowing that he's not going to be able to build up a larger army. 30 supply and 47 supply going up against 67 supply and 48. Godfather, um, well, Lubber mining, even though he's the one in low upkeep as well. All right, Orc looks like they're ready to try and make something happen. 
Undead is nearby anti-magic shell getting ready to cast the shades and all of the burrowed beetles saying it's time for the battle and here we are here we go in comes the fight torrent chieftain in the front line are we ready to engage no it does not it does not appear so fast movement speeds very fast movement speeds between the unholy aura and the level two endurance or a scroll of speed being used to try and speed things up there goes an impale as the torrent chieftain should be able to throw down a stomp here in just a second no silence torrent chieftain unable to throw down a stomp I was still waiting for that silence to come to an end as the death knight falls at level four teal already having a very difficult time that silence still lasting forever and a day finally going to be able to place down a stomp here is he going to do that yes he does do exactly that as astronauts now trying to back away with that crypt lord crypt lord low on hit point foreign chieftain is still right there there is a major damage there is a impale there trying to finish things off healing wave as the torrent chieftain is going to somehow survive a little bit longer torrent chieftain still fighting their way through a little bit of denial once more as the crypt lord is taking a lot of damage no death knight for the save as we could be looking at another stomp coming across here well no no stomp yet as of yet there he goes there is another stomp of again as astronauts is still trying to add things up lich falls at level four teal continuing to lose their heroes as astronauts throws in another impale to try and finish things off Torrent Chieftain does get up to level 6. Level 6 Torrent Chieftain, level 5 Shadow Hunter. Torrent Chieftain throw, could throw down another Stomp here. Is he going to do that? Hex onto the Death Knight. Death Knight could end up falling even though he has a plethora of items. He was stunned and unable to use the Potion of Healing or the Potion of Lesser Invulnerability that he had on him. Still fighting their way through. Torrent Chieftain continuing to fight. Death Knight has fallen at level 4. Comes back and then used a whole bunch of items. Death Coil right there as we see an Impale go down. All right. It looks as though the Crypt Lord could get taken down. Crypt Lord uses the Potion of Healing right there. Shadow Hunter low on mana. There's a, a Death Coil to save once more as the units are trying to retreat back again. Torrent Chieftain unable to catch up to that Death Knight. Death Knight was resurrected at the tavern. And you saw all of those items there. Torrent Chieftain trying to make its way back through. Trying to squeeze in and, and perhaps get in some damage onto some of those units. And, and perhaps trying to regroup as well. Shadow Hunter is still coming in from behind as well. Shadow Hunter seen at level 5. Dark Ranger gets up to uh, Dark Ranger gets up to 4. There, no, no stomp. Torrent Chieftain finally throws down a stomp. Gets in a massive stun. But there's no real damage behind it. And that is the game. Godfather and Lubber outweighing and outlasting their opponent here on Synergy choosing to not take unnecessary risks and being able to just outweigh their opponent for a great battle and even though the teal army and even though fur was able to get the level six on his torn chieftain reincarnation never really came into play he got in some monstrous stomps but at the same time i think he just wasted too much gold on potions of invisibility um thinking that um, trying to do the same strategy over and over and over again, knowing that Undead has a Shades and um, perhaps um, just started every single fight off on the wrong foot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below.